The latest prediction is that the total eclipse will bring at least a million more people to Texas. That's why counties like Ellis and Kaufman have made disaster declarations, why TxDOT is banning wide load truck traffic that day, and why states that have been through this before are warning us too. Finally, we're seeing traffic volume numbers uh, in an hour that we would normally see over the course of 24 hours. Because people like Ingva Christensen and his girlfriend, Mai Antonsen, Girlfriend, yes. are on their way. Well, thank you for doing this. Uh, tell me where you both are right now. They live in Honingsvad, Norway, the Arctic Circle. They have the Aurora Borealis, but they've never seen a total eclipse. This is their chance to see one, and America, and Texas too. It's the leading country in the world, so it fascinates me on many levels. They want to see if Texas is what the world thinks it is. Well, I expect to see, for my part, a lot of cowboy hats, <laughs> a lot of uh, SUVs with uh, one person only driving. And heavy eclipse traffic is a concern for them too. I'm starting to worry more and more about that. But their friends have asked them if they already live in Norway in total darkness several months a year. Yet you are coming here to get four more minutes of darkness. <laughs> have you thought yeah. about it that way? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. And we are looking really forward to it. Looking forward to a once-in-a-lifetime event. Just to be there together with a lot of other people with the same interest who like to to um, to witness the wonders of the universe. Right, that's pretty neat there. A celestial wonder worth the trip and worth the traffic, even for people who live a world away. I hope the trip is everything you want it to be. In Dallas. Oh, I think so. Thank you. I'm Kevin Reese. Wow, safe travels. And we invite you to stay with us for our team coverage of the eclipse on April 8th from the Perot Museum. We'll have a two-hour special on WFAA Plus starting at noon. And there will also be live coverage right here on TV starting at 1.30 p.m. as the moon passes between the Earth and sun. Now